Welcome to the checklist overview. This is an overview of the checklist feature within CCH Access Workflow. During this video, we will review adding checklist items to a task, editing checklist items, marking checklist items as complete, assigning checklist items, creating an email using the checklist feature, and applying the default checklist from the utility. Checklists can help users track the milestone items that are completed while a task is in a specific status. Utilizing the checklist feature ensures completeness in the execution of the task, increases accountability and provides a consistent set of guidelines for personnel to follow to complete their work. To add a new checklist item to a task, click on the task in the My View page to open the control sheet. From the control sheet menu, select Add Checklist. This will open the field to add a new item to the bottom of the checklist. The action bar identifies the key action items you can take with one or multiple checklist items. Bulk editing allows you to edit the associated status, completion due date and assigned person for multiple checklist items at once. Create email allows you to generate a new email message containing the selected checklist items. Assign will push the checklist item to the My View page of the assigned person under their My Checklists tab. The unassigned function will withdraw this assignment. If the user wants to apply the default checklist items for the task type they can click the Apply Default tab. The action column is populated with an O, for original, an E, for edited, an M, for mailed, and a C, for indicating a new checklist item was added to the task. All checklist items from the default template will display an O. If an email is created by clicking Create Email on the action bar, this will update to an M. The associated status, is the status to which the checklist item is associated with within the utility. The checklist field, is the name and description of the checklist item. The checklist due date allows the user to set a target timing to complete the checklist item. The assigned person, is the responsible role from the checklist utility. This can also be updated at the task level by double-clicking the field and selecting a new user. The date assigned, will automatically populate once a checklist item is assigned to a user. The status column shows whether the checklist item is done, not done, or not applicable. These options are available from a drop-down menu by double-clicking in the field. User can drag and auto-complete multiple line items at once using this feature. Completed by, and date completed will automatically populate with the name of the user who most recently updated the status of the checklist item and what date they modified it. A comments field is available to make free text comments related to the checklist item. Users can delete a checklist item by clicking on the trash can. Once the changes have been made to the checklists, click Save in the Checklist section to save your changes. This concludes this video tutorial on checklist.